Hello, this is David Benign from Excel Consulting. In this video, I'm going to show you how to go from a portrait image like this to a wide image that can fill the full screen slide like this in PowerPoint. So let's see what I mean. Let's go to the next slide. This is a beautiful kind of full screen image shot right in the middle there. And that is coming from an image that looks like this. Do you see that smooth kind of video-like sequence? That's using the morph feature, which is one of my favorite things about the newest PowerPoint. I talk about that in my top 10 features of the 2010s that I'll link to at the end of this video. It's a really, really awesome feature. So first, what we don't do, what we definitely don't do is this. You don't want to stretch it because this just looks terrible and anyone in graphic design hates this and even though in my position reviewing a lot of people's slides and helping them with powerpoint i see so many people do this kind of thing don't do it if you want to reset it you can do that by clicking picture format and then in reset picture you have reset picture and size the amount of times that i do this is insane <laughs> so how are we going to do it firstly we're going to go to picture format crop and we're going to crop it so that we only get the important parts of our image, which are kind of like this. I need the entire globe and the candle on top. And then I'm going to sort of enlarge it. Well, I'm going to put it on the top there and then enlarge it to the bottom of the slide. Make sure it's an exact fit. And then I'm going to align it. So I'm going to go to align here and align distribute horizontally to make sure it's in the middle of the slide. Then I'm going to duplicate the slide. In the Home tab, you can click this or you can press Control D, which I'll do next time. And then I'm going to select both of them, Control click, arrange, align left and arrange, align top. So now they're exactly overlapped. Then click the top one, go to Picture Format and crop this top one. Now we're going to crop it so that the, the globe is sort of out of the picture, quite literally, pun intended. <laughs> so crop it like that so that this is the non-busy part and here we can stretch it. It's okay to stretch the part that's not busy because the audience won't really notice. I mean, if you're going to be very finicky, you can see that there's a difference particularly here and you can see that these stars are not perfect circles. but the main part of our picture is untouched. So I'm going to do the same here, control D and then I'm just going to align it like that. And then I'm going to, uh, no, I'll still align top. Make sure they overlap completely. That's important. Picture format, crop, again, go to the non busy part with this sideline like that, and then adjust it there. There we go. And for the final step, we're just going to copy the side, the slide, and then we're going to paste as picture. And now it's a, it's a separate picture that doesn't even resemble these three that we've made it from. So I'm going to put that and I can align it and there, make it full screen. And this is using more of how I did it. <laughs> God, I love the more feature. If you like this video, then please click on the like button and subscribe to my channel because I have plenty more videos like this as well. I'm going to do way more around this kind of slide design and what to do with full screen images and how to make sure the text is legible over the images and things like that. All right. Thanks for watching.